talk to us about initiatives to um, increase uh, lending to the SME sector. Why is that? From our point of view, this is the probably the most exciting sector actually here in Nigeria. Um, we're not quite sure how many there are out there. There's probably in excess of 10 million small businesses in Nigeria. And everyone appears to be competing in the corporate side of, of the business. So there's a lot of opportunity for banks to use some of their surplus liquidity on lending to the smaller businesses. And at the moment, we're one of a few banks that appear to be focusing in this area. All right. Now, we do know that about 96% of business activity in Nigeria comes from the SME sector and that they do contribute significantly to uh, employment in the country. However, flow of credit to the sector is weak. Why is that? I, I think this is probably um, going back to the last two years where there has been the crisis in banking in Nigeria. And at one stage, most banks actually stopped lending. Um, I think it's starting to change this year. The people that we talk to, investors who talk to other uh, banks, they tell us that the flow of credit is starting again. Indeed, the World Bank came to see me a couple of weeks ago, and they're doing a, um, a, um, a survey at the moment in Nigeria, mm. and they're finding that there is increased credit, but maybe not at the bottom end of the mm. MSME pyramid. You mentioned 96%. There's probably 80% of that 96% are micro small yeah. businesses and that's actually the area that we focus on because that's where we see most potential and we also think it's the area that will have most impact on the economy here let's talk about the mindset in banking in nigeria because most banks although reluctant to lend post the nigerian credit crisis where they do lend it tends to be in the niche area of corporate banking not really in retail banking what's needed to change that um, we started looking at retail banking just over three years ago. In fact, I was brought here specifically to do that uh, as a retail banking expert. And I, I think um, originally it came from the fact that there were good margins, good profitability mm. available from very large corporates, particularly in oil and gas. That started to change and, and certainly we, we made our change three years ago where we set out to build propositions, value adding for customers in various segments, including MSME, in, including the affluent area, but, but also the mass market. And, and to put that in perspective, the change in our bank has been three years ago, less than 6% of our income would have come from the retail business. Mm. The first quarter this year, 34% of our income came from the retail business. What we've started to see is other banks now moving into that retail segment with you know, properly planned mm. Um, um, se segmented strategies that, that should help them to grow that business. We welcome that competition because there's a huge market out right. there and only about 30% of, of consumers actually are, are banked at the moment. So the more players in the market, the better it is for all of us. I mean, two questions and a brief answer, please, Gary. In terms of uh, retail banking versus micro lending, how do the two compare and how do they differ? And secondly, what are the default rates like? Because a lot of the reasons why Nigerian banks are not lending is because they've had their fingers burned. I think the first one, um, the central bank put a criteria on that, and, and that's a 500,000 Naira limit, which is just over $3,000. Anything below that is classed as microcredit. Anything above that is into commercial lending. Um, in terms of default rates, we've been pleasantly surprised, and, and I think a lot of the banks are scared. They haven't yet put the toe in the water, but we're operating at less than 5% default rates across all of our lending products. Um, so we, we're very satisfied mm. with the... Over $200 million of lending that we've now got in the retail segment. Now, a lot of challenges that SMEs face is surviving the entire business life cycle. From the day the business has started, to growing it, to eventually becoming a small cap, mid cap company, etc., etc. And this is where they need a lot of support. And that's where the support just doesn't exist. Do you provide technical support? We don't provide technical support per se but we we have product offerings or propositions for the micro for the small and the medium enterprise company and that incorporates um, low-cost banking right at the bottom end of, of, of the pyramid people can bank with us for less than the cost of a newspaper every day we also invite people along to um, enterprise seminars in fact our 14th enterprise seminar takes place next week in Enugu 
and we get experts in, uh, very successful entrepreneurs who speak to audiences of two to three hundred people. We, we do this on a paid for basis, but it's heavily subsidized by us. And they spend a whole day learning about how to improve their business and run their business. It's extremely successful to the extent that we, we started off doing one every quarter. We now do one every month. Mm. We're also building websites. Um, we allow our own customers to have easy access to a website, low cost. And we're working with a website producer to try and put some expert advice actually right. onto the internet, accessible to our customers. And finally, um, regulation. What's needed to really support the growth of SMEs to keep them stable? I'm talking here maybe about an SME development fund sponsored by the central bank and the federal government. But also on top of that, regulation around local content. That's very important. Unless local businesses are forced to do businesses amongst each other the tendency is for uh, nigerian businesses to uh, get their inputs from elsewhere i'm personally not a great believer in in regulation around that i think at the end of the day the market forces will dictate whether that works or it doesn't work on on quality on price on timeliness um, i think you know clearly the, there are things that can um, can change here to help us um, if we had a better legal system, if we had better registration of land, if we had lower cost in terms of, of land registration and buildings registration, they would all help banks in terms of taking security and therefore help MSMEs to, to borrow. The central bank are already working with the banks on putting in some guarantees which would help actually release more funds into the SME sector. Mm -hmm.